Hi, this is the harness that operates basically all of your dome light features, your home link and so forth, as, and your backup mirror. As you can see on this end, uh, there's the dome light connector right there. There's the home link connector right there. This is your actually goes into your rear view mirror. Uh, different facets. I think this one had this particular car may have had. Uh, oh shoot, I can't remember. It may have had some other stuff that, uh, like the sunroof switch and the lighting for it and so forth. Well, anyway, this is the top end of it. All these little connectors, but it routes up from from the overhead console, and then it goes all the way down to the passenger side rear kick panel and it's the first connector and it's a big one as you can see it has a, a white arm a blue inner and this is the top leading up now what's really neat about it is right there I know it's gonna be hard to say it actually has numbers and if you look at the numbers you can see that it there sorry this camera can't focus that well but it goes from one all the way to fifteen and the one side's gonna have an A on it and it's this side right here if you can see the first thing you see is an A I'm trying to get a and then number one and so forth this side is the B side and it has the same numbers it's just hard to see They're right there at the bottom leading edge reason I'm making this video is to show you guys how to tap in to the dome light circuit no need to go to the BCM no need to do anything like that what you do is you go to A7 which on this side equates to a black A7 is the ground right there and if you look through to if you look through to the other side behind it you can see a green wire a gray wire and a blue wire. On the back side number seven just happens to be that gray wire right right there in between the green and the blue. That's your hot lead and the way it'll work is if you tap into both of these your footwell lights or whatever you want to connect to this will come on anytime the door is opened or if you hit the unlock button on your car or lock it'll do the same thing and then as well as if you go to the actual overhead console light and you press the button the footwells or whatever you're connecting will come on as soon as you press the button to the on position if you leave the button in the off position the lights will not come on anymore reason I'm doing this is I want to show you a new harness I'm making for guys that want this option and it'll be in the it'll be in some pictures as opposed to any more video